So I've just finished work. Now, I had to call the police. I didn't want to, but I had to. So the night was going well, and we had this one guy at the bar. Now he was all good, he was just sitting there, having his drinks, no dramas at all. Now, alcohol started to kick in, and he started to sing a bit louder, talk a bit louder, but he was happy, okay? He wasn't harming anyone, he was just having a good time. Went up to him a few times and said, hey, look, man, just enjoy your drinks, but just keep it down to me. You don't got to sing that fucking loud. Cool, yeah, man, yeah, no worries at all. I respect the place. Yeah, cool, brother. Yeah, no worries, mate. Okay, cool, whatever. Then started to get louder, and the swear words started coming into it, okay? And I'm like, look, if you keep this up, that's going to be your last drink. Do you want it to be your last drink? He goes, nah, mate, nah, mate. Okay, good. Well, just, just chill out. Enjoy yourself. Don't abuse it and have fun, okay? Or that will be your last fucking drink. Anyway, do you think people listen? No. Do you think people listen to the warnings that people with the authority to, you know, cut you off are telling you? No. So, I'm sitting on my break and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing him carrying on and I'm just like, oh, for God's sakes. You know, it's the other customers walking past me and they were talking about him. So I'm nah, enough's enough. Went into the bar, told him, all right, man, that's it. Leave that other staff member alone. That's your last drink. I think it's time for you to leave. So he goes, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Sorry, man. Yeah, look, I'll, I'll get up. You're going to have no problem here. I'll get up. Cool. Thank you for that. So he gets up, walks over, and starts talking loudly to this family. They've got young kids. He's using all colourful language and stuff, and I'm just like, So I went and I got him. Now, I'm the sort of person that, you know, I, I don't like to be forceful and I don't believe in violence. I don't like violence. I always, I always feel that there's more power in trying to talk somebody down or, you know, just trying to talk somebody in a friendly way, get them to leave. Everyone's happy, happy days, right? Anyway, so I'm doing work on my magic, etc., working my magic and managed to get him outside. He's shaking my hand and giving me hugs and shit. I'm just like, for fuck's sake, get off me. There's nothing more annoying, I find, when drunk people are constantly trying to shake your fucking hand and they're giving you hugs, right? No matter if it's a boy or a girl, it, it just gets a bit annoying. One, two, three hugs, handshakes, whatever. I mean, like, he could have taken a piss or taken a shit and wiped his ass and not and fucking wash his hands. Now I'm bloody high-fiving him and shit like that. Yuck! Anyway, beside the point. Get him outside. He starts talking about this and that and this and that, being loud to the other regulars and this. And I'm like, all right, man, look, now you're starting to piss me off. I said, I thought we we're having a bit of a, you know, a chat here. I thought you were understanding. Come on, man. I'll walk you to where you need to go. Come on, let's go. Which way are we going out of the venue? Which way? I'll walk with you. Nah, mate. Nah, nah, I'll go. I'll go. Next thing he starts talking about his family. And he said something. And I'm like, look, I understand what you're saying. But I can't relate to what you're saying because I'm not in your position. And then he lost his shit at me. Like, you don't fucking understand. What the fuck is wrong with you? This and that. Now, he was like this far away from my face. And I'm like, look. Either you back the fuck off my face or I'm going to call the cops. Yeah, yeah. You fucking would, mate. You would. I said, yeah, I would, man. I said, I thought we we're having lots of fun. You know, I thought everything was fine. Now, whatever your last fucking chance, chill out, go away, come back tomorrow if you want, and everything will be fine. Last fucking chance. Don't fucking piss me off. Look, mate, you want to fucking go, do you? You want to fucking go? Let's go. I'm like, where are we going? Obviously, being a bit of a smart ass, where are we going? Come on, let's go. Yeah, nah, nah, that's not what I mean, cunt. And oh my god, he started getting more irate. And I'm, now I'm starting to get worried. Because at any stage, this fucking homo could, you know, fucking bang in the face. Now, I've never punched anyone before in my life, or been punched. And I don't intend to let him be the first person to punch me. If anything, it should be my wife maybe, you know what I mean? But anyway, so I'm like, right, you know what man, that's it, fuck this. I'm going to call the cops. 
So I went, called the police. I said to the cops, hey, look, man, I've got this guy that's here and been intoxicated and he's getting quite aggressive. I need assistance like right away. I went inside to go and get another bloke, um, another big guy to just come out with me, you know, just as backup because look, I'm a firm believer. Never be a hero in these sort of situations. Look, unless you're like a Conor McGregor or someone that can actually, you know, fight like there's no, you know, but if you're not one of them, you're a bodybuilder, whatever. Not even say for bodybuilders, man, because a lot of them can't fight. They just look big. Don't be a hero. Okay, you're not paid to be a fucking hero. Just use the um, the things that are in place to help you, i.e., other staff members that are there. Even though you shouldn't really implicate them, but you know, other staff members and the police. Just call them. And so the so the police asked me, "Oh, is he still there?" So I went back outside to look at where he was in case he had left. And as I was walking, um, as I just got to the door, he was trying to walk towards the door. Sorry, he wasn't trying. He was walking towards the door with a glass in his hand, with this like, <sighs> like that. And it's like eyes at me. And I'm just like, holy shit. You know, I've never been glass before. I don't intend to be fucking glass before. Because a lot of bad things happen when people get glassed. They might cut a nerve or fucking, you know, go on the neck or fuck an eye up. You know what I mean? Like, no, I don't want that. I'm a lover, not a fighter. And so I'm like, fuck this. Slammed the door, locked it. Thank God we could, you know, lock it quickly. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And then he walks around to the other door, which I quickly went to the other door. Quickly locked that one. And the family were like, well, uh, we want to leave. They were sitting down for the whole time, but just as I closed the door, they want to leave. Uh, so which door can we go out of? I said, look, just in the interest of your own safety, there's a guy that's actually being, who's just kind of going off the rocker, you know, like just staying here for a tiny bit, all right? Anyway, he then tries to go to the bottle shop entrance. Oh my fuck, Jesus. So then I go to the bottle shop entrance and I tell one, you know, the guy that's in there, make sure nobody comes in. So I walk around there and luckily he had pissed off and he's walking up the street. So I called the police back and I'm like, look, he's, he, whoops. I called the police back and you know, I said, look, he's walking up this street here. It's okay now. So I don't want to waste their resources if he's gone, what? They're gonna, the cops gonna come in and go, all right, where is he? Uh, he left that way. Okay, all right, so not a problem. Okay, see you later. Don't waste the resources. If the threat's gone, call him up and tell him not to worry about it. I said to them, if he comes back, I'll let you know. Anyway, like, it's just amazing what alcohol does to people. Now, I was watching him and he seemed perfectly, not perfectly fine, but he was getting to that really happy drunk, okay? But he wasn't a threat. And we have lots of those people that come in that get happy drunk, maybe a little bit more than happy drunk, and they're not a threat. But this guy suddenly just flipped, man. He flipped and he started fucking losing his shit. Now, it's not fair on the staff. I mean, the amount of people that have either been killed or severely injured, even just punched because they're trying to do their job and look after the other customers. I hate people that get aggressive when they're drunk. I hate them. Like, ugh, if you know you're an aggressive drunk, don't go to a fucking pub and get drunk. Fuck me, like, it's just so selfish, you selfish motherfucker. I really hope he gets to see this. But no, you know what? He probably won't fucking remember what he did. But anyway, I barred him. I barred him for three months. So there we go. But anyway, what are you going to do? The Hospitality Diaries.